hello everyone welcome to my vlog 31 calm recipe and uh, all the recipes are in the description box for your reference and today is a beautiful day look at the sky and today morning i'm gonna have appam with coconut milk uh, coconut milk cooked with jaggery and cardamom and this is my favorite breakfast today december 4th my aunt's birthday so i want to buy some pastries look at the pastries oh my god i'm confused which one to buy <laughs> Now I'm here at the flower shop. I want to buy a bouquet of flowers. Now I'm confused which one to choose. <laughs> All are beautiful. So what do you think of this bouquet? It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm at the supermarket buying some kabos and zata bread and uh, mude idli, set dose. All this I'm going to buy and i bought some butai i want to fry this uh, sardines i love this fish it's so fresh in mango you get very fresh in all the fish seafood so uh, whenever i come i make sure more than profit i love this fish so i deep fry them with the rava delicious with the nice spicy masala and this with the dal delicious Yum, yum, yum. Tuvar dal, white rice, and butai fry. Perfect. Whenever I come to Mango, whether it's a Jan, Feb, or November, December, always it rain. You know, it's something, it's magical about it. So it's going to rain today. Today is my birthday. I'm going to supermarket to buy some stuff. I on my way to supermarket. I always call supermarket my father-in-law's house <laughs> because I'm always at the supermarket buying things. I always want to buy this, this, this. Always think I want to buy fruits. I want to buy bread. I want to make this. I want to make that. <laughs> That's why it's at my father-in-law's house. I'm going to buy some musumbi. I like to make uh, musumbi for my mom. Musumbi juice with tangerine. Um, two musumbi and one tangerine is amazing juice and look at this chiku my god look at the size of this chiku just like musumbi so i can make amazing uh, chiku shake with milk and ice cream i bought five to six pieces of chiku look at the size of chiku just like musumbi um, only 60 rupees 50 fills isn't it cheap i'm going to make nice milkshake from this chiku so let's make chiku milkshake this is chiku, only one chiku I put because it's a huge chiku and I put ice cream, any ice cream will do. Little sugar, little bit and chilled milk. Voila, you have to blend in to a nice smooth milkshake. There you go, nice, amazing, delicious chiku milkshake. Cheers! I'm going to Swagat restaurant to bring some puris, masala, dosas and badas. Puri <laughs> baja. Puri 
टू प्लेट पूरी दैट मीन्स फोर पूरीज एंड बाजी सांबार दिस मसाला डोसा दिस इज एक्स्ट्रा सांबार आई बॉट फॉर नेक्स्ट डे एंड दिस इज़ फॉर द पूरी बाजी एंड द सांबार एंड वडास ऑल दिस फॉर वन नाइन नाइन खान रिज लुक एट दिस साउथ इंडियन थाली ओ माई गॉड इफ यू ईट लाइक दिस एवरी डे फिनिश दैट्स इट It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I received bouquets from my brother, my sister-in-law, and from my daughter, and from my kids' cake. And my aunt also sent flowers. They are so beautiful. They all know I love flowers and roses. I celebrated my birthday with my mom, my uncle, and aunt. Um, we had a wonderful time together. We had a fellowship, worship, prayer, and Pastor Sanal preached the gospel. A mind-blowing biryani from some shop, home catering. Everybody was praising. Uh, this biryani and cake from my brother, my sister-in-law, and my boys, Jake and Jay, and flour from Albika. Let's make sukka kurg mutton masala. For that, you need mutton. You have to wash them thoroughly, and you have to uh, add transfer to a cooker with a whole garam masala like cloves, cinnamon sticks, fennel seeds, whole and whole black pepper, bay leaves, green and black cardamom, and salt and tomato, and little water, and pressure cook them until they are nice and tender. I love the pressure to reduce naturally and open the lid and check where the mutton is cooked. It's a beautifully cooked. Separate the mutton pieces with that soup you have to add this potato uh, uh diced potato along with the soup and pressure cook them for one or two whistle. And check the potato is cooked. It's beautifully cooked and keep them aside. Let's make green masala. Here I have a green chilies, brown onion, garlic and ginger transfer to a blender. Here I have green chili, green chilies, garlic, ginger, brown onions and uh, uh, marble size tamarind I'm going to add. Here I have tamarind and a little salt and I'm going to blend to a smooth paste. I'm going to add this whole garam masala cinnamon cloves black peppers fennel seed all this I'm going to add and blend once again to a smooth paste and I'm going to keep this aside This crude masala if you don't have crude masala you can check my description box uh, what to use what spice to use this is chili powder crude masala and turmeric powder heat uh, oil in a white pan add green masala stir and cook until the the raw smell disappears and the green masala separates from the oil and i'm going to add ghee also and stir and cook for another 2 or 3 minutes the masala is well cooked the oil is separated from the masala It smells so good. I'm going to add this curd masala, red chili powder and turmeric powder. I'm going to stir them for a minute. I'm going to add cooked mutton and uh, I'm going to stir them. to cover all the masalas with the meat and cook for another few minutes I'm going to add this curry leaves with a little oil I'm going to stir fry them and add to the meat you can add direct also 
into the cooker and give it a stir now i'm going to add a grated brown grated coconut for that you have to take a little coconut and uh, dry roast them when you uh, see changes in color little light brown perfect transfer to a blender allow them to cool and use the off and on method just a coarsely ground like this and add this to uh, add this to this mutton gravy and uh, give it a stir this is like a sukka coconut cold masala if it is too dry you can always go ahead and add very little water because this is sukka mutton so we don't want gravy and add a uh, cooked potato and make sure that all the masala is coated well and garnish with coriander leaves well cooked mutton masala is ready to enjoy you can have it dal you can have it rasam with sambar with curd rice amazing or you can just have with the paratha and rotis let's make a tomato rasam for that you have to add tomato garlic to a pressure cooker and a little bit little water and pressure cook them until they're nice and soft allow them to cool separate the tomato and garlic and blend them once they cool blend them and you have to strain this strain this puree perfect and discard the solids and even the tamarind with pulp uh, we need tamarind water for the katta to give a tangy taste and don't throw the tomato water which you have boiled so for this uh, i'm going to add jaggery and uh, curry leaves and tomato rasam powder i'm going to mix with little tomato uh, pulp here i have a chili powder and a rasam powder a chili powder this is a kashmiri chili powder just to give a color mix with little water and add to this uh, tomato mixture and salt give it a stir and bring them to a boil cook them for 5 to 6 minutes and let's give tadka now here i have oil add mustard seed allow them to pop and add cumin and pour this over the rasam delicious enjoy this steamed rice papad or kurk sukka mutton masala i'm going to garnish with coriander leaves and you can have with fish fry prawns i hope you like these recipes kurk sukka mutton masala and tomato rasam Love you guys and God bless you. Stay safe and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Now I'm going to enjoy this steamed rice and rasam and mutton. Till then, ciao.